My name is uh, Patrick Peer. I work at uh, Bell Equipment as a workshop foreman. I was invited by uh, Teveta to come and attend uh, setting up curriculum, which is the second phase. The first one we did in Luansha, and uh, this one was just uh, polishing up and uh, hoping to be invited next time again, obviously when they are setting the final goals for the whole curriculum program for heavy equipment engineering. It is necessary, especially to us end users of the product that comes from uh, institutions, we actually need to put the actual input and knowledge to exactly what we expect from the students that are coming from colleges. Because uh, what is taught mostly from colleges is, I can call it 80% theory, and the practical part they come to learn from us, people from the industry. So we also feel it's important for us to participate in setting up curriculums so that at least we know exactly what we're expecting from the products that we are receiving and exactly where to start from. You need to know the foundation of someone who you are receiving. It helps our work a little bit easier to pick up from where the lecturers left from. Okay, like I've noticed there are two improvements. One, I'll say it's uh, the topics that they've introduced. They've introduced two topics, which I feel will help us much more in the industry, especially with this new technology that has come in. They've introduced uh, the advanced heavy, advanced hydraulics and pneumatics technology. That one, if you look at the cost contents, they're more into electronic part. And uh, that's exactly what we are dealing with at the moment with the latest equipments that we've got. You find that everything that we're doing is going electronically now. It's like it's moving from uh, the old version into setting up the new and meeting up the new standards of uh, technology that we are receiving at the moment. It's like uh, the world is going modern every time we every new day that comes the world goes modern so it's good to know that even in uh, our engineering fields at least uh, technology is being recognized every time there is a new development in any aspects of uh, what we learn they have to introduce a relationship between uh, institutions and uh, industries instead of only bringing students you know not every student will have maybe an opportunity to go for an industrial tour i can give an example in industries we've got some components and equipments that we don't use and if you look at the way some other industries look at those components others just feel like disposing them like scrap or maybe sending them back to manufacture uh, factories where they came from but if you look at our institutions now, they lack certain uh, equipments, especially training equipments. On theory part, maybe they are equipped, but uh, on practical, they may need help from industry. Students only coming for industrial tours, the period that they come for an industrial tour, basically is, it's just for visual eyesight viewing but they really need to get the actual understanding beyond a certain component that they are showed when they come for an industrial tour and that can only be achieved if institutions can at least have that good relationship with industry find better ways of approaching industries to give them those components that they feel are not used and are necessary for students to learn from at least uh, that can also help as well. Graduates are a problem sometimes. When they come from college with a paper, they, know, they feel they know everything. But one thing they shouldn't forget is what they learned from school, like I said, it's more of a theory 
and when they come in uh, industry, they'll be subjected to practical aspects. Let me say 90% of what they'll be doing will be practical. Despite of where you've come from, it being heavy equipment, uh, technology, advanced certificate or what, in the first area when you come, you'll be subjected to practicals. And for instance, you'll find uh, you'll be given like a mentor because when you come, no one is going to take you as a qualified person. Someone has to teach you through, take you through for you to know exactly what you're dealing with. You may have the whole knowledge from school, which is on a theory part. You'll be given someone else in terms of education wise. Maybe someone has, is a craft holder, but he's the one that they're going to give you to look after you for that period you've come in a certain uh, industry or in a certain organization. So with the graduates, I can emphasize they should give themselves room to at least learn. They have to adapt to any set of rules that they find in a certain organization before they can start feeling that they're more superior. The biggest problem where I've picked up this point, I've seen students, different type of students that come from different institutions. They come students with craft orders. They come students with... Uh, certificates, diploma holders, and degree holders. The way you look at these papers, the way they are, is the way a student behaves when they come in industry. 90% of them. A degree holder doesn't want to learn from someone who he has found in the industry, as long as that he discovers that that person has got uh, lower qualifications or grades. Or So the advice I can give to students, as Whatever paper or qualification you might have, when you just enter into an industry, you need to put yourself down. It's, uh, I can call it uh, the way you conduct yourself. Because I've seen, even in the curriculum, be behavioral change. It is something that has to be considered with students. Students don't want to accept change so quick, especially when they feel they are highly educated than the person who's looking after them. But if you look at our industry, a lot of people, they might be practically oriented because they learned the, the old type of school that maybe we learned with the latest type of school that my friends are learning with new technologies coming in. Someone will be taught how to use a computer at school. Someone learned how to use a computer at work. So you find that a lot of students miss that point. In engineering, we say every time it's a new day and every new day comes with its own new things. So you keep on learning every time you find something. You need to give yourself room to be taught or to learn. That's how best you can improve in your engineering sector. Otherwise, if you come with that aspect that you know everything, then uh, it will be hard for you to find yourself surviving our industry now. Yes.